As a judge, I am not to hold any grudge. And as a Christian, that responsibility is even greater. I am to uphold the rule of law for all people, regardless of whether they supported or opposed my nomination and regardless of whether their politics before joining the bench agreed with mine. To uphold the rule of law, judges have the responsibility to write opinions faithful to that law in a way that respects both litigants and colleagues with whom they disagree. That does not mean a judge should shy away from applying a law that may be unpopular among some groups, but it does mean a judge owes the public a fair and reasoned explanation for why the judge reached the decision he or she did. And it means the judge should, should treat colleagues with respect even if they disagree as to the outcome of the case. I was reminded a few years of the biblical role of judges by one of our friends who uh, was in Christian fellowship. Uh, his name is Mike Juno. Uh, he's a federal judge in Louisiana. Mike reminded me that our job as judges has roots in a passage from Deuteronomy. In chapter one, verses 16 and 17, there's a reference to Moses' charge to judges at that time. Hear the cases between your brothers and judge righteously between a man and his brother or the alien who is with him. You shall not be partial in judgment. You, you shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. Proverbs teaches that the Lord gives wisdom. Through the Lord, we understand righteousness and justice and equity every good path. 